I know it's a year late, but better late than never. Hey guys, what's up? My name's Deja. If you're new, welcome. And if you're returning, hey, thanks for stopping by. I'm not enthusiastic today. I'm not. In fact, I'm disappointed and shook, but mostly disappointed. So, yeah. Anybody that knows me know that I grew up watching a lot of anime from Naruto to Bleach to Dragon Ball Z. Street Fighter, if we're counting that. Anime is just, it's a part of my childhood. And out of all my 20 years of life, there is not one anime that'll come close to having such a special place in my heart the way that Death Note does. Death Note is by far one of my favorite animes of all time. All time, like across the board, across the freaking board. And for those of y'all, who are uncultured swine and don't know what I'm talking about, let me just give you a quick synopsis of Death Note. Ready? Cue the music. So Death Note takes place in Japan and it centers around one of the smartest, brightest kids in all Japan named Light Yagami. Light Yagami is that guy that knows he's like the bomb.com. He, 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 he doesn't have to say it. He doesn't have to flex. He knows he's the bomb.com, top of his class, best test scores in the whole entire country. It's a ladies man, ladies flock to him like those birds from Finding Nemo. He knows he's hot stuff and he does not have to let them know. He just, he, he's just cool. He's cool as a cucumber. And so this kid who's super smart, top of his class, he's walking home one day and out of the sky, drops a journal and he's like, hmm, maybe it fell from somebody's apartment window. So he takes it, turns it around and on the front it says, death note, just in, just right there, just on the cover, death note. And he's like, hmm, that's a weird name for a diary. And so he's like, finders keepers, losers suck. He takes the journal home and he starts looking into it and he sees that there are rules written on the inside of that journal and those rules are as follows. The human whose name is written in this note shall die. It just, first rule just says it just clear as day and he's like, huh, that doesn't seem to be real. Are you kidding? Is this a joke? Ha ha ha. The second rule is the, if you write this person's name with a image of their face in your mind within 40 seconds, they will die in 40 seconds. And if you don't specify how you want them to die, in the 40 second span, they'll just die of a heart attack. And so he's like, hmm, peculiar. And so he's minding his business. He's in his room being the A plus student that he is. And he's watching the evening news and he sees that this burglar got away with a crime. Light was like, hmm, time to put this journal to the test. So he whips it out, gets his pen, writes the dude's name down because his face is on the screen. And then bada boom, bada bing, 40 seconds later, the news anchor is like, yo, Y'all may think I'm crazy, but this guy just died of a heart attack. And Light's like, hmm, coincidence. And then suddenly, out of nowhere, he's chilling in his room, mind his business, and this creepy ass thing is in the corner of his room, just lurking. And he's like, yo, who are you? And he's like, I'm Ryuk, the god of death, and you have my notebook. And Light's kind of shook. He's like, a Shinigami? a god of death has a death note and Ryuk's like yeah I know right and he's just entertaining the idea and he's like why don't you go and test it out and so I think Light goes to like a comic book store or a like convenience store and he sees this lady get mugged and so he sees this guy and he just so happens to have the notebook on him he writes his name down and says oh he gets this guy gets hit by a truck and sure enough he gets hit by a truck coincidence I think not. And so he's just like, yo, this is a big deal. He said, I'm literally holding life and death in my hands. I am the God of the new world. And he just starts to go on and on about how he's gonna rid the world of evil and leave good people alone. And he's just, he claims that he's the God of the new world. 
and the FBI is not having it because they're like, this is weird. All these pedophiles, all these serial killers, all these rapists are dropping like flies on what's going on. Light, knowing that he's the guy responsible, is like, hey, I'm gonna give myself you know, a, a fake name. So uh, Kira, which is the Japanese word for light. So he calls himself Kira. And he continues with his killings and he's doing his thing. And then this other guy named L, who was like above the FBI, he's super smart. He's like, he's like on the same level as light instead he's on high school. He's like a grown man and he's super smart. He's really tech savvy and he knows what he's doing. And he's like, hmm, this is interesting. Kira is just going on this crazy killing spree. And so basically, the story of Death Note revolves around this kid who discovers that he has the power of life and death, and he uses it to his advantage to rid the world of evil, hence making him the god of the new world. And L is not having it. And he's like, oh no, you are not God. I will put you in your place, little boy. And it's this crazy cat and mouse chase that goes on for years. And it's such a great anime. If you've never watched anime in your life, definitely check out Death Note first. I, I say all of that to say that I was on Netflix trying to find something to watch. I had just finished watching all Black Mirror. I finished watching the originals. So I needed something that was not gonna make me cry ugly tears. So I was like, let me go to the anime section. So last year, Netflix decided, hey, why don't we do a live action version of Death Note? And when I heard they were doing this, your girl was ecstatic. I was excited. I was just happy crying. I was like, finally, God, wow, wow, what a mighty God. I was so excited. I was just all for it. I was following all the news updates and just everything about this movie. I was hyping it all the way up. And then I saw the casting. I saw, <clears throat> I saw the cast list. And I, I was confused. I was concerned, but I was like, oh, okay. Um, I don't know why y'all recruited um, the Naked Brothers Band and get out for this movie, but you know what? I just, I'm gonna trust the process. Maybe it won't be that bad. It was worse than I could imagine. And let me tell you why. Here's what I think happened. Here's what, here's what I think happened. Somebody at Netflix was having a rough day and they're like, you know what? I need to let loose. So they smoked the biggest blunt, the size of their arm, and they were hanging out with some friends and they were just like, yo, no. what if we did a live action version of Death Note? And what we can do is take everything good about Death Note and not put it in. That is so And I just gotta say, oh, listen, <laughs> I still have PTSD from um, Dragon Ball Evolution and The Last Airbender. You can, Death Note is now added to that list because it was so horrible. It was so, it was so bad. I don't know what it is. Ever since Stranger Things came out, different TV shows and movies were like, hey, let's just put together like this really awesome classic rock 80s soundtrack to our movie and show. Even though the soundtrack to Death Note, it didn't make, it didn't, I couldn't find the core, I couldn't find the correlation. I couldn't, I couldn't, Lai Yagami is a genius, top of his class, very smart. Like, Turner, huh? Like, Turner is stupid, impulsive, a crybaby, and shows a death note to his crush, Misa Amade, I mean, mm -mm, sorry, mm -mm, Mia, and gets, and to, to get laid, T to get laid. The only thing that was remotely good about the live action version on Netflix was Ryuk. Because Defoy absolutely killed it as Ryuk. But then at the same time, Ryuk's charm that you see in the anime was not present in the live action movie. He is made to be a villain instead of kind of like the, the funny comic relief. Like Ryuk is the comic relief in Death Note. He was evil and benevolent the entire 
entire time and he just he was out to get light he was just out for blood another thing i didn't understand about the live action version of death note was that they 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 really they really didn't stay in japan they didn't how are you gonna jump from japan to seattle like I don't get it. I don't get it. And why did you kill off Light's mom? And where's his sister? I just, oh, I have so many. And the biggest thing for me, the biggest thing that made absolutely no sense. Like, here's, here's L in the anime, right? Here's L. Right here. L in all his glory. Here's L in the live action version. I don't know what y'all were trying to do. I don't know, but it didn't. You didn't have to do that. You really didn't. You sh you could have just. Light Turner is nowhere close to being Light Yagami because he literally used the Death Note to take out a bully. A bully, and you're in high school. What? They made it so unnecessarily gory. The thing that made Death Note so great and unique was that you didn't have to see the gruesome death to get the point that Light is trying to rid the world of evil. It didn't have to be gory and messy. They just died and you didn't have to get all this extra stuff. They were extra. I was, I felt like I was watching Final Destination. I just, mm -hmm. On top of that, the acting was horrible. It was horrible. I just, oh my god, my brain can't comprehend the horribleness. Is that another word? It is now. Moral of this, the moral of this whole rant is to just, oh, Netflix. Netflix, I love you, I love you. Black Mirror is the best thing that's ever happened to me. But, mm, with the exception of the Full Metal Alchemist live action remake, which was so good, just stop. Stop Americanizing animes, okay? Just, just, just stop. Don't, please stop Americanizing animes, please. Because like I said, Dragon Ball Evolution literally made me want to rip out my eyeballs. I couldn't even sit through the last airbender for more than 10 minutes before angrily walking out. And we all know how that went. We all remember how that went. If you know that this story revolves around Japanese culture, the least you could do is cast a Japanese cast. Don't make Misa Amane, who is naturally just sweet and like a lovesick girl who's just head over heels for this boy that avenged her parents, and just make her into Mia, who is literally psychotic and does not give a flying manoodle about light. And don't take light Yagami, sweet, sweet light Yagami, and make him light Turner, who is compulsive, who is just an angsty, annoying teenager, a crybaby, and who just doesn't, he doesn't use his head at all. He, he, where's my, where's it? Like I said, Netflix, Netflix, I love y'all, okay? I do, with a passion. Y'all gave me Black Mirror and my life has never been the same. I applaud you for that. But for the love of God, do not ever in your life Americanize anime. Okay? So, um, don't ever do that again. Because that, that was horrible. Yeah? Okay. I'm gonna go. Because I just, bye.